Greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals. This week we're uh, taking a look at a passage in the book of Acts. We've reached the midweek portion of our uh, devotionals as we, uh, as we uh, explore this, uh, this passage uh, which deals with uh, Peter addressing a crowd of, of folks in the early, the early church. A couple of years ago, we did a small group here at the church uh, which dealt with something called the emerging church or the emergent church. And the, uh, the theory behind the emergent church is that the, the church is going through a, a massive upheaval uh, as it does every 500 years or so. The last one, of course, being the Protestant Reformation in the 1500s. And, and so uh, uh, now in the time that we're living in, the church is going through another upheaval. And, and one of the things uh, that, the, that folks in the emergent church or the emerging church uh, often tried to do or are trying to do is uh, to kind of get back, to get back to the early Christian communities, to get back to the practices, the spiritual practices and, and the, the ways of, of being together uh, that, were, that were practiced by the earliest Christian communities, uh, like, for example, uh, the ones in the book of Acts. Uh, if we're being honest with ourselves, though, for us postmodern uh, Christians living in America, if we read through the Gospels, read through the New Testament, we, we probably have to come to the conclusion that we, we really have very little in common with those early Christians, those early Christian communities, the early disciples. Truth be told, we often have much more in common with the opponents of those early Christians, uh, the crowds of onlookers, the Pharisees, the Roman Empire, uh, we who live in our culture, in our society, uh, really have more in common with, with those folks than with the early Christians. But there is hope. Peter, addressing the crowd of people, says, says this, And now, friends, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers when they crucified Jesus. But he says in the resurrection, uh, when Jesus is risen, uh, the Messiah is appointed for you. That is Jesus who must remain in heaven until the time of universal restoration. That the salvation that Jesus accomplishes through the resurrection offers universal restoration, even for those crowds of people who, Peter says, rejected, persecuted, crucified Jesus. And in fact, if we look at those early Christian communities, we can see that they were filled not just with the faithful disciples of Jesus, but with Pharisees and Roman soldiers and, and diverse groups of people, slaves and merchants, male and female, uh, Jews and Gentiles, all manner of people were included in those early Christian communities which I think gives us a clue, uh, us postmodern day Christians, if we want to try and live like those early Christian communities, uh, what we have to do more than anything else is include everybody. Amen.